Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to show you all the movies that I watched during the first week of October, October 1st through the 9th. Um, so I am doing the 31 Days of Halloween movie challenge to where I'm at least watching a minimum of one movie a day that is horror related. So today I'm going to take time to tell you all the films that I watched from October 1st through October the 9th. So first up I watched the 1979 version of the Amityville Horror, the original. Really enjoyed this film. I can't give it enough high praises. Really great film. So I highly suggest you check this one out. And then I watched the 2005 version of the Amityville Horror starring Ryan Reynolds. Um, this right here was watched on October the 2nd. Um, I enjoyed this film. This was my second time viewing this one. Um, what I did was I did a comparison of the 1979 version versus the 2005 version. So definitely check out that video if you're interested in my thoughts on both films. Now on October the 3rd, I watched American Psycho. Um, this right here was my second time watching this particular movie, but my first time watching it on 4K. I thought it had a really good 4K transfer. I really enjoyed the soundtrack. I forgot how good the soundtrack actually was. Um, very bloody and gory film. Um, I highly suggest you check this one out. Now on October the 4th, I revisited John Carpenter's Christine based on Stephen King's novel. Um, it had been a very long time since I've seen this one and I really forgot how good this really is. If you've never actually seen this movie, I would highly suggest you watch this movie based on this car that is possessed. And um, anyway, it was a fun movie and I'm glad I got to revisit it. Now on the next three days, I actually watched a trilogy of films. I watched the Rob Zombie trilogy. Um, the first day I watched House of a Thousand Corpses. Then I watched The Devil's Rejects. And then finally I watched Three from Hell. I really enjoyed these films. This was a first time watch for each of these. Um, my ranking would be number three would be Three from Hell. Number two would be House of a Thousand Corpses. And the number one would be The Devil's Rejects. I really enjoyed this um, storyline. I thought it was fun to watch. A lot of um, good violence. Um, very peculiar storylines involved, um, but very happy to have this one in my collection. Um, you can definitely check out my unboxing of this particular still book. Um, I'll leave a link to that on my channel. Okay, on day eight, I took time and watched um, a recommendation from a subscriber. I took time and watched The Midnight Meat Train. Now, I have never in my life ever heard of this movie before. Someone um, suggested that I check it out. So I went to Amazon, I ordered it, it was here the next day, and man, I really enjoyed it from start to finish. Great storyline, great action, great um, kills throughout the movie, excellent kills. If you like to see um, violence and people getting slaughtered, this right here would be a good film to watch. I thought it was great. Um, and then lastly, on um, October the 9th, I took time and watched Stephen King's Salem's Lot. Now, it had been a very long time since I've actually seen this film. Um, this right here was a miniseries. Back when I was growing up, I do remember seeing this one on TV. It was a two-night event, I do believe. So, I took time to watch this one, three-hour long movie. The first half was pretty good. Nothing spectacular happening. It was kind of slow paced, but the second half really made up for that with all of the different things that were happening throughout the story. This is a vampire story. If you like uh, movies based on vampires, definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the first nine movies that I watched during the month of October. Let me know what movies that you've been watching throughout October, and also leave me some suggestions of films that you would like me to watch during October. I really do enjoy reading your comments, and I really do appreciate your suggestions. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching each day, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.